So today's vlog is going to start with this little thing that I think has just happened. I don't know why I find it so cute, but it's just really cute. But it's obviously involving Toto. Uh, it's just really weird. Anyway, I'll show you. Hello, tall man. Hey, hello, tall man. How are you? Hey. Oh, but then right next to him is this little bumblebee. They're just chilling together. Aren't you? So I was worried about that falling on Toto. It's wedged up right against the back there, and then it's not going to go down. On, it's not going to fall on him. There's just no way it's going to fall over. And some horses. I'm just thinking that's really weird. Tiny bumblebee. A small tall man. We're gonna try to give it some sugar water, but it's, it's dead. It's not dead, it keeps moving. It's dead. It keeps moving. Dead. It keeps moving. I wonder if Tolman killed it. He did, I know it killed Tolman. Hello and welcome. If you're new to the blog, I'm Chin and I just do things on whatever. This channel basically has no function other than to document my life. So if you want to see a basic idiot go around doing basic idiot things, look no further. You have hit upon the jackpot, my friend. So yeah, make sure you hit that like button. Always comment as well and subscribe and hit the notifications. These vlogs are daily at the moment during this COVID shutdown. Hopefully I can keep them going in some form or guise afterwards. So fingers crossed on that. Today is a beautiful day outside. It's Friday. I think people have just got paid, which means we're probably going to be quiet. The rules have been relaxed. I'm not sure if they're relaxed yet, but they are going to be relaxed. And if they're not relaxed, people are going to be running about acting like they are relaxed. We will be dead. There will be barbecues, people having beer in their gar friend's garden. Tomorrow, on the other hand, even if it is busy, historically, on a payday weekend, Saturday work is quite good. We used to be back in the day, Friday nights was takeaway night. Now it's changed. I think the whole dynamics over the last sort of two decades has changed the takeaway trade quite a lot. Fish and chip night is still always Fridays. We always get lots of fish and chips on Fridays normally. But in terms of takeaway stuff, <laughs> It's a, on a, sometimes on a Thursday, we can take more than we can take on a Saturday. It's, it's honestly next to impossible to predict. And cause unlike most takeaways, we use a lot of fresh ingredients in terms of our chicken and nothing's really frozen. Veg rolls and, and rolls and like that are frozen at the moment. But other than that, it, it's difficult because without the people coming through, we're having to throw away a lot of stock because you know, it's not selling. And then one day we don't prepare enough we can't take that money. It's it's one of the hardest things in the world because there is no trend. And that is what everyone finds in our local town. Well, in Porlock anyway, is that you just can't tell. One day, and you'll think you'll be busy for the weekend. You know, you prep loads on Friday, Friday, Saturday comes, and then on Monday you're throwing everything away. We like to, and we like to prep by the day. So what we prep on that day is what we sell. And then we just like to keep stuff really fresh, really does mean that you have a ceiling you can hit. Joys of running a food business, eh? We just noticed, so, noticed something really weird on Friends. Pause it when you get to this point. Look there. That is not Courtney Cox. Love it. And then there she is. How weird is that? Like, they've literally just replaced her with someone else. Maybe they, she said she didn't want to do that scene because they weren't paying enough. So they just replaced her with someone. It's odd, isn't it? Weird. Lydia just said she was angry at it. <laughs> Don't know why. Don't know if you can see in here. There's a lot of stock we got. I say a lot. That's probably a, a quarter of what I've ordered, if that. Suffering badly today, aren't you? Yeah. Hay fever. Yeah. yeah, mine's playing up as well. All nighters are, innit? Mine's just during the night time, not during the daytime. I just did 12 sneezes in a row. Did you? Yeah. Makes, you go, makes me go light edited and stuff as well. Yeah, maybe eating will help that. Yeah, maybe. Wait, oh, yeah, earlier, cheeky. What did you eat? Sandwich. Yeah, okay. So we got to fit. Oh, yeah, because we've got some building work going out the back. We've got two of our fridges out here now. Not ideal. They're not used really, so they're just 
sitting there. More the tracks for all the stuff from there into there. Now I know you're thinking it shouldn't take too long, but it takes fucking forever. Those um in just one of those green dragon cases, there's that's 15 kilos. It's not very much, but because you can only carry two at a time, it just takes forever. <laughs> Just being funny as always. Oh yeah, funny. That took forever, didn't it? Yeah. Quite but it doesn't look like we've got much more in here now. It's just that. It's excellently placed all everything that. into perfect, perfect uh, and all that. That's quite literally though. I mean the Green Dragon, that's all I can get because even that's all they had at Waihi Hong. So sorry anyone going there to buy stuff, but <laughs> you're not gonna have Green Dragon for a couple of weeks because no one can get hold of it. If he's doing a nice job of cleaning the van. What are you doing? Do you like cleaning the van? Right there, Mum? Right there? Yeah. I got Cajun beef today and it does actually smell really nice. It smells a bit like spaghetti bolognese, where it's rice with beef. It just, it honestly smells like spaghetti bolognese though. Let's try it. That is the single most disappointing thing I've ever eaten in my life. No flavour at all. There's an overwhelming flavour of dried basil and oregano, I think. Yeah, but it's not a nice flavor. Normally that flavor is nice. It's, 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 a, it's weird, it's like it's there, but it's not. But it's really strong, even though it's not. There's nothing satisfying about it. I'm not even gonna take, oh, I am gonna eat it, but I'm not gonna bother keeping it in it because I'm gonna review it right now. And I'm gonna say this is a, a one. Honestly, the worst muscle food meal I've had so far. No, that Balti, the make your own Balti was shit. This is, this is pretty close to being sh that shit. No, it's worse. It's worse because I think I could make that taste good. This is just bland, nothing. And it smells so good as well. It did, didn't it? Yeah. So today's actually been okay. I actually thought it was going to be quiet, but we've probably done, I don't know, I reckon about 250 at the moment and we've still got two hours left to go. So that's all right. The more and more I think about it, like I've seen before, I'm going to focus on the online shop and the online activity in terms of this. So even after COVID, I really don't think I'm going to stop doing the daily videos here because even though I'm only getting a dollar a day, you know, if I keep it up, I'll probably still only get a dollar a day, but that's a dollar a day more than I had in the first place. We've been wearing them wrong. Apparently we've been wearing our masks the one way round. Yeah, I said that to you a couple weeks ago. You're like, no, no. And how do you know? Yeah, how do you know? That wall. I don't understand how they're different. They look exactly the same on both sides. I can't understand it. I, don't I think it's one of those things where like people try and make something up to see how far it can go. Yeah. No, this guy who's told me on um, on Facebook, he works in a hospital. Oh, yeah. So he knows which way around they go. But I said, I just researched it then and the filter works both ways. I was gonna say that's the right way else your wire wouldn't, your rope that goes around the ears would wouldn't work. Well, I don't know because that's what I thought about the one that I was wearing earlier and apparently that's the wrong way around. Well, if you take it off. We are closed now, by the way. You can see it's been fairly busy today. Well, not busy for Friday, but busy. Didn't need that many way. I just don't see how... Because that would look stupid then if you done it that way. It's gonna... Yeah, and the inside's there. That's obviously yeah, the inside. you are wearing it right. Because everything looks like it would be backwards. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Inside out. Like, way seams on the outside. I think they were commenting on the, uh, we got some really cheap ones though, didn't we? Because that's all they had. Yeah. I think they, they were like literally the same both ways, so. Don't tread on your glasses. So I think that's what they're seeing. I don't need this now, I'm done. Where so did we did 300 today, which is a bit shit for Friday. I think we did better than next door though. Yeah, definitely. Really? Yeah. They haven't been that busy at all. Really? Yeah. Not it's not that good because I actually need them to be busy. Why? Keep them off our back. 
Why would they be on our back? Because they, 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 they're starting to do different things now. Did you did you read their sign? No. They're doing calamari. Yeah. They've been doing that for a while. They've been doing that oh, for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've only seen the sign today. Yeah. Shut up, Darren. Yeah, shut up, Darren. Be useful. So some uh, fucking idiot came. Lydia just told me about this earlier, and I forgot to tell you while I was at work. Some fucking moron came to the shop today and was just like, "Can I place an order, please?" And Lydia was like, "No, you can't. You've got to phone." And, they, and he's like, oh, "But I can't. Uh, the guy told me yesterday that you're open from five. Yes, we are open from five, but you need to phone. He's like, oh, no, but I was told yesterday, I've, I've, I've been this far, I've got my grandma, in the, I've got my mum in the car, blah, 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 blah. And um, Lydia said he's quite a short guy, but he just started getting really, really frustrated by it, like shaking and just being like, oh, I can't believe this. I'm so, blah, I didn't, don't think he said so angry. I'm putting words in his mouth there. Long story short, he couldn't grasp the concept of what we were talking about. And Lydia was just like, you can go get fish and chips next door. They'll, they don't mind, you can just walk up to them and buy fish and chips for them. And it was like, no, but I wanted them from here. Uh, he, the, the man said that we could order after five. And then she goes, yeah, but we can't. You can't. You can only do it over the phone. She said, she said this about three times. And then she went, but you can go next door. Uh, you can order them from there. And then he again just went on the same loop. And then she went, look, just go next door. You're not going to get anything here. And then he just stormed off. He didn't go next door in the end. He just literally stormed off. And um, his car was parked illegally as well while I was having this conversation. I was just telling Lydia, like, if people talk too long, just go walk away, just say, I'm sorry, I can't talk now. You're going to have to phone and walk away because it's defeating the point of what we're trying to do. But that's whatever. And then I was like, that's so fucking weird. I haven't spoken to anyone. And then about f five minutes later, I came into the kitchen and then went to see if Darren had come into work yet. I went to look for Darren for some reason. Oh, I actually went to ask him if Lydia told him the story, that was it. And then he went, um, yeah, she has. And then I said to her, he spoke to me. And I said, right, so why didn't you tell, he goes, before you say anything, Chin, before you say anything, Chin, man, I said, he came up to me, he goes, what time are you open tomorrow? I said, we're open from five till eight. And he went, fantastic, that means I can, and then Darren said, he went, it's phone orders only, but this guy kept talking over the top of him, it's phone orders only. And the guy again kept talking over the top of him and then he goes, right, I'll see you tomorrow at five. And Darren went, well, do you want a number then? Because you won't be able to order otherwise. And then the guy literally turned around to Darren and went, I don't need your number. I know what time you open now and walked off. Darren came into the kitchen and Liam confirmed this and said, I bet that guy's going to turn up tomorrow and try and order directly because he wasn't listening to what I was saying. That kind of guy is a fucking twat. Then I found out he's well known in the village for being a fucking bellend. Apparently he causes, there's always something wrong wherever he goes. It's always someone else's fault. He also actually got into an altercation with a landlady of a pub once. He pinned her up against the wall, apparently. That kind of person, I said to anyone there, if you recognize him and he comes in, just don't serve him in the future. Obviously on the phone, we'd never know who he was, but I don't want that kind of person in my shop. It's not worth the time, it's not worth the hassle. And if you're, I know it's sexist to say, and you're a man and you lay hands on a woman, you're a fucking piece of shit in my book. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if that's old hat thinking. I mean, Lydia's six foot two, right? And I'm five foot 10, yep. I could punch a hole straight through her if I wanted to, because that's just, my body naturally produces way more testosterone than hers does. It's muscle mass, it's basic biology. Any man who raises their hand to a woman is a fucking piece of shit. So yeah, he's not welcome. <laughs> Work-wise, I thought he was dead, but then I was doing some paperwork in, in the other room, well, in the main restaurant, on my office, in my office which isn't an office, it's just a dining table for two that's now I've made into my own little place. Yeah, we, I was in there and I just didn't feel it was busy, but we did 300. I think we did loads of fish and chips and when we do loads of fish and chips, I don't feel the busyness because I don't do them. Mum and Liam do them. Mum's gonna be opening back up soon, so we'll lose her as well. So fingers crossed, Scott can get back into a working shape for that. I didn't have time to review them on camera at this point when I ate them because I put them in the microwave. Basically, I had the Moroccan meatballs from Muscle Food. Put them in the microwave, then we got hella busy on for about half an hour on the, the Chinese side. So then I wolfed them down. I, I wasn't gonna leave them to go cold because I knew they'd be horrible and that wouldn't be fair. The Moroccan balls, 
taste like coffee kebab. They're quite nice. I think I prefer the Italian ones, but the Moroccan ones were much, much more oh, flavorful. I hate that word. I wouldn't say fl flavorful, but they were just more tender. Like, I don't know, I didn't actually look because I was wolfing them down. I didn't actually look if they were made of chicken or anything, but they tasted very, like meat-wise, fairly inert like chicken. And I wasn't really paying attention. I think there might have been a slight hint of lamb in there, but that could just be because they used Moroccan spices. But they were good, and I would give them a seven out of 10. I would order them again, actually. And this time, I took the lid off the pot and then put them on the microwave, and they, they were hot all the way through. So it might have been because I left the lid on last time. That would explain it. Loving driving the van round. I still can't get over how much I love it. Went to Bristol today in it, got a few honks, so I'm guessing either people really hate Chinese people right now, which I know a lot of people do, <laughs> or people are recognizing us, which is really cool. Which is actually really cool. Look, strangers that live hours away. But that's, that's honestly mental to me. Just, and now I am gonna go have, or make dinner. I'm gonna try to decide what I'm gonna have. I'm thinking, one of the pasta things, I just can't be fucked to cook, I really can't. See how shiny my face is, because there was a really busy period for about half hour, like I said before, but it's just, tomorrow, hopefully it'll be busier. And like I said, if this was, if this was normal summer, on a Friday night with all the tourists, I'd be pulling in easy six, 700 from the Chinese takeaway food. If it was my main menu, I'd probably be doing 800 to 1,000. Hopefully people will be allowed to go back soon. Providing it's safe. Don't just send people back into the wild when it isn't safe. I know the grief we're gonna get as well because we're gonna stick to the, our same protocol for a few, probably even a couple of months more until everyone else, until the government says it's completely safe. I just feel that it's, it's not worth the risk. First people they would blame locally as well would be us. It's not worth the hassle. We're gonna get some absolute knobheads come through. Well, the government says I can go out and say, why won't you let me? S oh, fuck off, just listen. If you want food, phone it in. Why is this concept so difficult for you to fucking understand? Have I just talked algebra to you? No, I've used English words in a sentence that you would uh, comprehend. I have got lemon pasta today. Instructions are quite good. Most of these pasta ones are pretty good. I think it's because they're so self-contained. Oh, I forgot the chicken's over here. But the chicken honestly looks like dried, shredded, uh, like squid you get in a Chinese supermarket. So I'm just gonna cook all this up. Obviously I need it. Okay, so I've only had one of these pasta uh, things before but I well prefer them for, to the other stuff that they got. Other stuff is just so much cooking for so little flavor. This is quite quick and usually quite punchy. I'm not sure about what the other ones are like, but I'm really, really looking forward to this. And then because the new, let me remember, Enduja was amazing. So hopefully this is gonna be okay. Yeah. Oh, it tastes a bit like salmon. It smells like salmon and I hate salmon. Is it? It's not salmon. No, it's chicken. Right, so here we go. It smells like seafood. The tomatoes, like Lydia said, make it taste fishy. It's gross. Yeah, I am not a fan of this. Without the cherry tomatoes, it's really nice. It's quite zingy. With them, it's disgusting. I don't, I don't have a sip of my drink through my fancy little straw. Mm. I think if you like tuna, you're gonna like this, because it tastes like that. Oh. I can't. They are gross. I'm going to eat them anyway, just for the sake of it, because I'm starving today. But um, they are not fucking good. I am going to get. I'm going to give this probably a three out of ten. The tomatoes let it down. 
don't know, I don't know about you, but I've never, I've never thought about getting a tomato and squeezing a lemon all over it. Don't know, it's just me. It's like, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm the messed up one here. This is just not right for me. It's worse when you get a bite of everything. <laughs> so yeah, this is a three. No way on earth. Two. It's a two. There's no way on earth I'd ever order this ever again, ever. No. It's the tomatoes are the they're really bitter. They make me want to urge. And I've got all that out of the way. Let's try. Don't have to worry about that now. There's something off in this dish and it's the tomatoes, it's ruined the whole thing. The whole flavour of them, whatever they're in, if it's just tomato flavours, because they did just taste like Jeremy tomatoes if I'm honest. They're just really bitter ones. Um, this is ruined. Unimpressed. <laughs> so, so, someone asked me about why I haven't put, oh, oh they, they gave me a suggestion of putting wok burners into my kitchen at work. That is the ideal situation. I mean, because we did Malay street food before, it is far quicker than the Chinese food because most Chinese food places, like their chicken is pre-cooked, so it takes them three minutes or so to warm up the food. But because we cook it fresh from what, because we cook it fresh and it's raw, you have, you have to obviously add at least two minutes on there because raw chicken has to be at least over 72 degrees for three minutes before it's considered safe. So that's where the speed of their cooking comes into it. However, if I replaced the induction cookers with the woks, I would probably gain about a, a minute per dish, which is a lot of time. The reason I haven't is because Porlock doesn't have mains gas. Now I can use Calo gas, uh, which is in canisters, but that requires a lot of work. Plus what you don't actually realize is that wok burners, they require constant stream of water. And when you're on a water meter, my bill will go from, I think at the moment it's about 300 pounds a month to a grand, a grand and a half a month. Water bills are no joke. And that has to be constant. If the woks are on, to stop the metal from warping, it has to have a constant trickle of water over the top. You can get away with shutting it off and then looking down to see if it's boiling or not. But if you don't check and you forget if the water starts boiling and it can evaporate off really quickly and you don't realize I've done it before in the past I've warped a wok burner before and it costs a lot to fix <laughs> a lot to fix um, and it's not the burner that warps it's the surround there's nothing worse than cooking on a on a ring that's like that <laughs> but that's that's by the by well that's one reason the second reason is just the amount of money that will cost me to fit into my kitchen. When I took over the old chapel, I, I just didn't have the funds at the time to renovate in that way. I do, however, see the benefits of the wok burner. It really does make things a lot fucking easier for Chinese takeaway food. And because I am gonna be going down that route at some point, well, I am definitely going down that route. It is potentially a, a viable option. But then, like I said, my will, will I actually increase my revenue by the amount of water I spend? So will my revenue go up a year in terms of profit? Not in terms of revenue, because revenue can go up by the same amount and I'm still worse off because my margin is so low. So I have to be able to profit the difference and then more to make it worth my while so it's going to go from 700 a thousand a quarter to 3000 a quarter possibly that is 2800 pounds a year to 9000 pounds a year and i've really got to think am i actually gonna profit the extra money to make up for that I, that's a lot of food that is a lot of food um, I've worked it out and I don't think it's I don't think it's necessary especially if I'm stepping back that means I have to actually hire another chef so that's 18 19 20,000 pounds right there and then I've now got to pay the extra water bills on top 
So I'm looking at 24, well, and the 13% I've got to put on top of their wage. So that's 2,600 on top of the 20, let's say. So 22,600 plus 9,000. I'm looking at £31,000 extra now. Oh, I didn't explain why I need a proper chef to come in our country. That's another, and actually, wok burners are a completely different animal from anything else. It takes people months to learn how to do it. To use one, I, if, if, if I have a wok range, depending on the size of the rings, if they're standard size, the large ones with the big woks, I can manage four at one time. A noob, will take three months to learn how to use that wok perfectly, especially when it comes to fried rice, because it will burn, and the second it burns, you've fucked everything. People will never believe me, but it really is, especially when you cook in large amounts, because we don't cook just one portion, we don't cook two, you cook about eight in a wok at a time. Eight, that's a bit much. It's five or six in a wok at a time. And if you don't, and if you're not quick, and you're not on it, and you don't understand how to actually use the wok, you'll 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 fuck it, because some of you people on the um, Facebook groups and stuff like that have good commercial burners, and one of you actually I think does have a full range. It, it takes a lot of skill to be able to do that constantly in a pressure environment where you've got a lot of other things to do, and it's not as uh, people go, oh, I've, I've used one. Yeah, you've used one for yourself, but you're not cooking two or three other things. And you've got to get one right first. In fact, most places won't let people go onto main dishes until someone's been flipping fried rice, literally cooking standard fried rice for two years. Because you've got to kind of become second nature to you before you can start doing anything else. So that's another thing. Even a trained chef, I'd have to get like someone from the, who's been in the business for a while and that's not going to be cheap. It's not as simple as I will up my revenue. Just because you up your revenue doesn't mean you're gaining. And that's a m mistake that a lot of people seem to make as well. Oh, your revenue will go up. Yeah, I'm, it might go up, but the costs of running are huge. And I've got six, I'd say, no, four months to make the money. It's not all year round here. You forget, and we technically in Portlock we have a thousand, I think a thousand, one thousand two hundred households, not households, people, and half of those are holiday homes. So in the winter, half of those people aren't even there, and in the summer that hikes up because of the holiday homes and the bed and breakfasts and things like that, the hotels. So it goes from. 1,200 to, I know I said 10,000 before, but that's, um, that's over exaggerating, so four to 5,000. And there's a small amount of time that I have to make more than that 32,000 pounds. But if I keep the induction cookers and I just buy a few more, I can get a normal chef to learn how to cook my food on them. It's not as difficult. In fact, I can get a noob to do that. That's pretty much, I am, to I am still toying between the idea and it's all well and good saying, I think you, you'd, you will make, people say that to me all the time. People go, I know you'll do this, I know I didn't. And I've learned from the past that most of the time they're wrong because I try it and it doesn't work. People seem to think that they know better. I forget that I've been doing it a long, long time. And I don't think I could increase the output enough. I mean, when we are turning people away, before it was because the restaurant's full. Now, we'd run out of stock before that point. Like I said, everything's prepped fresh. It's not, it's not kept in batches frozen. So when we run out, we run out. And you can't prep for an unlimited day. We don't run the same chili for the sake of the quality of food, which I think, to me, I'd rather be proud of what I send out than just that will do. So I, I, to be fair, I lean towards not getting the woks in, even though I feel that I should to teach the people that work for me how to use them so if we ever did move to a city they would not be on the back foot and I wouldn't have to spend so long. That's the only reason why. It wouldn't be for uh, profit because they wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't generate that profit. I need to generate a fucking load of revenue to um, pay for that. Yeah, to profit £32,000 I would have to turn an extra hundred yeah, about a hundred thousand pounds, a hundred, hundred and six, hundred. Let's just say a hundred and ten thousand pounds of profit, thirty-two. Just from just by switching from induction cookers to what? That's not going to happen. That we physically couldn't store or cook that much more. It would be impossible. <laughs> I I said I'd answer this like this because 
getting all that out in a message just isn't possible. But I do really appreciate you thinking about it. It's, it's just not viable and it really isn't. I'm tempted to put them in to prove a point, but then I'll just be cutting my nose off to spite my face, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you stay in. Don't stay in. Well, yeah, stay in actually. But you can go around and visit friends soon, so whatever people are doing, they're doing. Just take care. Make sure you stay vigilant. I'm not saying stay alert. Stay vigilant. Live long and fucking prosper. This is the way. And I really did have a good quote on the tip of my tongue there and I forgot it. I can't remember it, but okay, that's it. Cheers, see you tomorrow guys. <laughs>